Uncle C back in the office and in today's video we're going to be discussing what to do if your woman lost interest. Okay, what to do if your woman lost interest, she's pulling away, you want to reattract her. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering a series of topics. Okay, I'm going to be teaching you exactly why this happened and not only that as we frame into this I'm going to be showing you what to do. On this side of the whiteboard I'm going to be demonstrating why it works and then over here some key takeaways. Now, what I wanted to briefly explain is that I think that this video is extremely needed as a man for a variety of reasons. Number one, it's important to learn from your mistakes. Okay, number two, it's good to see what works when it comes to dating and what doesn't. Number three, no man likes defeat. And number four, if you could learn what you did wrong and you actually had somewhat of a genuine interest in the woman, why wouldn't you want to attempt to reattract her? Okay, so when a woman loses interest, I feel that this video is necessary because I'm going to bring some massive clarity with the impact you need and the result that you do desire. Let's dive in number one to the why. Okay, why did this happen today with women? Why are women losing interest from men more than ever? Well, first and foremost, we live in an overstimulated society. The fact of the matter is today, most women are overstimulated in every way, shape, and form. Because of the way social media works, because of the way the world works, you have to understand that she has Snapchat buzzing, she has TikTok buzzing, she has Tinder buzzing, she has Bumble buzzing, she has Instagram DMs buzzing, she has Facebook notifications buzzing, she has Snapchat buzzing. And because of that, you gotta understand that she has one million options with one million different types of men and all she has to do is look down at her phone and know that she's wanted. And since she knows she's wanted, that's enough for her to sleep soundly at night knowing that if she doesn't make any of these guys a priority, it's okay because the next morning when her head hits up from that pillow, she still has those options waiting. So why did this happen? It's happened because we are overstimulated. We live in a technology age and there's not much I can do about that. All I can do is try to help you adapt. Which means the first and foremost thing that you have to understand is weakness is going to be the biggest reason why a woman pulls back in any way, shape, or form if she had genuine attraction at the beginning. You have to look at what goes on in modern dating. If she likes how you look, meaning you look attractive, if she likes how you sound, meaning she likes your personality, once she got to know you, the only thing that happened was that you made some serious mistakes that lowered her interest in a man-to-woman interaction. Any sort of weakness, this can be over-complimenting, over-validating, this can be giving too much of your time, energy, emphasis, or not looking pre-selected as a high-value male, this is all going to screw you in the long run. Another thing not frequently talked about is her past experiences with, with S3 actual submission. The more amount of time she's submitted to a man in an S3 actual way, the more amount of guys who have penetrated her, this is going to lower her ability to genuinely want to be with you, right? Because that this this goes back into overstimulation. If she's overstimulated when it comes to cell phones, apps, these sorts of things, chances are she's going to be overstimulated at one point in her life with S3X, which means it's your job to phase these women out and realize that some women are only in it for the thrill, which means if you were the guy that provided no thrill, you came into this without giving any emotional spikes. You came into this without teasing in any way, shape, or form. You're going to get hit with these issues. Now, what to do? What do you do as a man once this has happened? Well, first off, you have to withdraw her currency. You have to withdraw her S3 actual currency. What that means is a woman's S3 actual currency is going to be that man's time, that man's attention, and that man's validation. A woman does not crave sex in the ways a man craves sex, right? A man, man are, men are validated through knowing that they can go to those levels with a woman. However, women do not get validated knowing that they can go to those levels with a man because every man wants the same thing. However, the currency is the things that you're giving her or stimulating her outside of the bedroom. You have to understand that most men, when they get broken up with, most men when they get dumped, most men when they get cheated on, they want to fix it instantly instead of withdrawing their currency that she wants most. Most simply don't withdraw. They still Snapchat her daily, they still have streaks with her, they still talk to her on a day-to-day -day basis, and because of that, they show weakness. It shows that they can't move on. It shows that they can't live without her. So you have to spot where you overvalidated. And as you spot where you overvalidated, what you must do is you must shift your demeanor to more masculine. 
What are more ways you could have demonstrated non neediness? What are more ways you could have demonstrated being on your purpose? What are ways you could have demonstrated better use of your time than just sitting there kicking it watching Netflix or going on random dates? Because ultimately you have to understand you, your direction and your ability to weed out a lot of these women so you can stay focused on your path as a man is going to lead for the lead to the highest long term ROI, the highest long term success with a woman. So why does this work so well? It works so well because modern women want attention from all men. And that one man that makes it a bit of a chase, a one man that makes it just a little bit harder. What you got to realize is she constantly has a big question mark going off on her head about that guy. And she wonders, why is it that this guy was able to walk away? Why is it that this guy put himself first? Why is it that this guy did not need me? And that makes her want you even more. Now, why is this a negative in and of itself when you look at modern world and modern dating? Well, it's a negative, even though it works so well, due to the fact that modern women want attention from all men. But the problem is that real world value, right? Real value in the world is now masked with perceived value, right? Today, a man doesn't typically have to accomplish a whole lot or demonstrate solid masculine qualities. All he has to do is perceive to the world that he has these qualities by making better use of his time, right? By having a, a social life of abundance, by showing that other women may be potentially interested in him, right? What this has shifted to instead of real world value, how well you can protect and how well you can provide, this has moved to things such as like social status, right? Social charisma, things of that nature, or even how many Instagram followers a man has things of that nature. Women look at these things. And because of this real world value, right? Re the real world value of a man has now diminished into the perceived value of what he can demonstrate on the exterior. This is negative. This is a feminine quality. However, this is the way the world is shifting. And I advise you not to play to this game. You will be much happier actually pursuing real world value in every way, shape and form with your vision, with your mission, with your principles that you live by as a man. The biggest key takeaway that I want you to remember if you're in coming from a time of emotional distress, maybe you've got your heart broke from a woman, maybe she lost interest, maybe she pulls back, maybe you really liked her and she cheated on you. God forbid that happened. You must show strength when you're actually weak. And you can appear weak when you're actually strong. And no matter if you think that sends conflicting signals or not, what this is going to teach you to do is this is going to teach you to finally be in control of your emotions and to develop confidence even when you're scared shitless to do so because women cannot control your emotions in 2021. If it's 2021 and you're a man, you have to understand that the more you let that petite little hundred pound woman control what goes up in here, that is less time, less energy, less emphasis that you get to put towards your mission out here. This is what I want you to remember. Why did a woman lose interest? We demonstrated it. What do you do to win that interest back? I covered it right here in the middle of the whiteboard. And I advise you to live by the mission in life that you build on a day to day basis. Now, fellas, you're probably in one of two spots, either a you're struggling to actually attract women. And if that's you, I want you to go down below and book a call to potentially work a one to one with me inside the men's MBT full stack program. Also, if you're a man struggling in a long term committed relationship slash marriage, maybe your wife's pulling away, maybe you don't want to get a divorce. What I want you to do is check out the numerous case studies inside the relationship blueprint mastery end to end presentation. And I, when I show you a specific system, numerous husbands are using to win their woman back permanently and keep their family together. I think you're going to be very, very happy and pleased with what you see down below. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.